Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day off with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Now, if the art you see behind me doesn't put a smile on your face, I'm not sure what will. The artist who created these pieces, he's represented by the gallery on Green Stream. Now, this gallery is located in the historic district's seaport area. It's widely recognized as an artist's haven. The gallery is just filled with so many vibrant, island-inspired pieces that truly reflect the island's soul. I don't think that a trip to Key West would be complete without a visit to this funky gallery. Nance, thank you for joining oh, me this morning. Oh, thank you, Jenna, <laughs> and good morning, everyone. Well, it's wonderful having mm -hmm. you here, Nance. And let's start by telling our viewers how long you've been in the gallery industry for. Well, I have been working in Key West as a gallerina mm -hmm. for 20 years now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you've been here at the gallery on Green Street for those 20 years, or how long at Green Since Street? Since 1997. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know that you have so much passion and enthusiasm for the artists that are represented in your gallery. I do. Every single one of them is really a tremendously talented person. We represent 37 local artists. Six of them are Pulitzer Prize winners. And about half of them have been in museum exhibits or are or will have museum exhibits. And every single one of them is a really nice person, like Andy Thurber, who we're going to talk about today. Right. Now, Andy Thurber is the creator behind all of these mm -hmm. pieces. So yes. as everybody can tell, this man is loaded with talent. He is. He's really a tremendous talent. He's been here since he was six months old, mm -hmm. and there is nobody more conky and funky than <laughs> Andy. <laughs> That's a compliment. That's a good yes. compliment. Well, you can see that funkiness in these photos, mm -hmm. because these are definitely some funky photos. And I know he has an exhibit, right, Nancy? Yes, he has a, an ex his exhibit, his annual exhibit is coming up this Saturday, the 20th, from 5 to 8 at the Gallery on Green at 606 Green Street. And you will see that every single year Andy makes great new strides and does really fabulous things. He really represents the authentic Key West character. Mm -hmm. He does do a good job he does. of that. Now Nance, speaking of, you know, Andy, you said he's, over the years, Andy always, I'm sure, is changing his work. What changes have you seen in just the art industry as a whole in your years? Well, in the 20 years since I've been back in Key West, the industry has really changed a lot. It's amazing from a very low-key, very small industry to a six million dollar industry with 60 galleries up and down the Keys. That's huge. It's crazy mm -hmm. how much that has expanded. It's fabulous and we attract people now. It's more like an art destination mm -hmm. every year. So people actually come every single year just to see the art and buy it. How is your gallery different from the others that we have here in the Keys, Nance? Well, they're local artists, and they're many of them are extremely reputed, like the legendary icon Mario Sanchez, mm -hmm. who is going to have um, an exhibit in New York and be the first Floridian to have an exhibit in New York, and someone who Andy has really taken after. You know, Mario does those wood carvings, the intaglios, and Andy does wood cuts that are quite similar to them. Um, we have historic pieces. We capture the old Key West. We have much work from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, from you know the people who have lived here, even from the WPA in the 1930s. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you definitely then, tr you truly do reflect the island with oh, all yes. the artists. And, and the history of it, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have a favorite, Nance? <laughs> oh, I love them all. <laughs> They're all, you know, I... Years ago, I decided I was too old to be working with people who I didn't really, really enjoy. Mm -hmm. And these are all fabulous people, fabulous artists. And the more successful people are, the nicer they are in general, too. Mm -hmm. So they're all great artists. Well, it seems like, you know, seeing Andy's work, it seems like you have to have such an amazing gallery with other artists mm -hmm. like Andy as Oh, well. yeah. Tell our viewers where you're located at, Nance. We're at 606 Green Street in the heart of the old seaport, the historic district, um, next to Peppers, and very close to the Conk Farm. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you for being on the show, and hopefully, you, again, our viewers can make it out this yeah. Saturday for Andy's yeah, show. Thank you. At the Gallery thank on you, Green. Jenna. Bye. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Stay with me.